in this game, white is Alexander Morozevich, a super grandmaster from Russia. Let's see how he plays with white against Castellanos. Here, black is playing e6 and d6. In a previous game, d5 was played and the bishop was dropping back to b3. Black wants to play bishop b7, rook c8, and wait to see how white will develop. Here, the next move is key. Just as Hikaru did, Alexander Morozevich played queen e1 and the queen can go to h4, g3 and f2. Combined with the bishop c1, at some point f5 will happen and you're playing on the king side. That's really why you should remember playing this system with white. Interesting, Morozevich played the queen on f2. He is targeting the pawn on d4 and black has to defend. The normal move will be knight c6. Then you will play bishop d2 followed by rook a e1 and soon f5 and you're attacking over here. Instead, black played e5 and that's a mistake because of the f7 pawn. And now why play queen h4? That's a very strong move. The bishop will come here next. This is weak, this is weak. We have this five for white, and the knight will jump here. And let's look at the black pieces for a minute. This is not playing. This is not playing. The knight has nowhere to go over here and the king is weak. You have a dream position with white already on move 16. Black is trying to cover h6 and f6 to prevent such a move. However, there's a flow there and black resign. There's a pin over here and here there's no real defense again checkmate on h7. If black play h6 you simply play knight g3 and you have bishop f5, knight h5, you're gonna take over here and knight f5 coming as well and you're completely winning. Black resign. In this last game, i like to show another game from Hikaru Nakamura play on chess.com against GM Krikor, a strong grandmaster. So here, black play e6 right away, as opposed to play 96 and g6 like we've seen before. Very important. Here, as black play d5, Hikaru play bishop b5 in this variation. Here, here's what white wants to do. These pawns are damaged, they're doubled. White wants to castle over here and play knight e5 with the idea queen h5 and having control over the center. This is very strong. Knight h5 could be coming and black cannot take here because then you would have a lot of pressure on the f5 and queen f3 
and followed by bishop somewhere and rook a e1 and you have a winning attack here. Very important, Hikaru gave up the bishop pair, however, these pawns are damaged and can be targets, and black has nowhere to open up for his bishop. Here, if black will take on d4, white could take back over here and have a beautiful knight on d4, and e6 is weak. So black is suffering to defend all these weaknesses. This is more positional than the game we saw with g6 before. Very important, this knight does a great job over here. And there's pressure here. Black is definitely worse in this position. We won't move 22. Again, pressure over here and on this pawn. And black resign here on move 25. On a normal move like rook b8, white was planning 97, attacking the queen, attacking the rook, we have a double attack, and black is losing material. Thank you for watching.